Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Android notifications in Xamarin.Android using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I've got lots of videos coming up. So let's get to it then. Android provides two system control areas for displaying notification icons and notification information to the user. So when a, a notification is first published, its icon is displayed in the notification area, which is which start from the top left side of where um, just after the time, most of the time. Yeah. So as you can see, here, we've got G the, the G here for um, Google notification. So this example of the notification area, and, and then the, there is the information area where you can. You can draw down like this to view the um, notification information, right? So let's get to it. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna write a very simple pro program just to to show you how we can display the notifications, right? So we can get started by clicking on the create a new project. So here. Um, at the platforms we select Android and then we select um, Android app so we click on the next and then here we ain't gonna configure any app, um, project details we're just gonna click on the create just to save more time and then we're gonna use the, the blank app so we're just gonna wait for the project to load so now we've got a project loaded so what we do next is we just open the right click the reference and go to manage new get package so here we're going to go to browse and install one package which is the android android support v4 so which is mostly the top bit here so it's xamarin.android.support.v4 we install it so click ok and accept so we get that create i mean downloaded so we've got that bit sorted out. We're just gonna close this here now. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this bit here and 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 just put notification up, something like this, that's fine. So now we're just gonna go inside uh, the assets, no not the assets, um, the resources, the layout. And then the main activity we're just gonna make the whole thing fast so so inside of activity underscore main dot xml we're just gonna change the relative layout to to linear just gonna make this linear layout right so inside it we're gonna add a button so the width we're just gonna match parent and the height we're gonna wrap content yeah so this side we're just gonna put some few attributes the next bit is just uh, the Android ID so we're just gonna name it button not the button one just something like this yeah so the next is of course we're just gonna put a test here so it's just a test so we're just gonna grab it from the string side so all the time we're just gonna create this bit string forward slash we're just gonna say channel underscore name yeah so we're just gonna put it nicely here so we, what we do is we inside the, um, the resources we open the, the values and then open the string so here uh, what we do is we're just gonna create string first the name channel underscore name So we could just say 
notification application uh, we're just going to save it then come inside the main activity so here we're just going to set some private constant field so this first one is it's private static um, read only integer so this will be notification underscore id so we're just going to set this to 1000 so next bit is private static read only string and this one will be channel id we're just gonna put location underscore notification yeah so the last bit here is you're just gonna put private integer underscore count we're gonna set that to zero yeah so that's all we're gonna do for here now so what we do is just gonna build the app for the first time so right click and build the app so we've got the app built to see that so once we've got the build to see that we just come right on after the set content view then we select our variable button which is equal to um, find by find view by id which is the button so we say resource dot um, id dot button so we should get that variable button that we've just created so we just sign to the click event so button dot click so button dot click so subscribe to the the click event so here we come inside the click the button click event handler so we just this is what we're gonna put inside it so we're gonna start with a variable called a builder variable builder which is equal to new notification notification compact so it's this bit one this one here new notification compact yeah so inside we put this contest and then our channel id and no so that um So there's one more thing that I forgot, it's dot builder instead here. Yeah, so the next bit is we set the auto cancel. Oh man. My apologies, set auto cancel. We set that to true. So the next bit of course is um actually we're just gonna remove this bit here, press enter so dot so we're just gonna set some details here. So is it dot um we set the content title, yeah, set the content title of the notification so we're just gonna call this one 
button clicked, then we set the number. So this one will be our underscore count. So we're actually creating the notification, right? So we set the small icon. So here we can look for through our resource. Dot drawable. Dot. We're just gonna use um, any icon, so it's not necessary. So dot a b c underscore i c. So we're just gonna choose whatever, like a star, something like a star icon. Okay, a star, small star icon. So we're just gonna use this bit here. Then. We set the content test. Set the content test. So we could say um, the button has been clicked. Account times. Yeah, so the last the last bit is our set. Yeah, so we're just gonna put a semicolon here. So the last bit is we actually start a new variable NMC, which is um, notification manager compact notification manager compact. So that one we get from um, this contest and then we can say NMC, we can publish dot notify our no notification. So we can say notification ID and then builder dot build. build so this will actually build a notification so the next bit is we just set the count to add one anytime it's actually the button is clicked so this 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 pretty much it so what i'm gonna do is just gonna run it quickly then i'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing it, it opens so now as you can see here uh, i've got the app running now so what i'm gonna do is just gonna click on this bit so as you can see here now once I click this bit here I've got the notification being shown here so we come inside here it's a button clicked yeah so once you click on it so as you can hear that the sound of the notification so what I'm gonna do is just leave it here for now so I'll just I just hope you're gonna explore it further and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope this video helped you. Bye-bye.